considering moving to Parker or somewhere in the Denver metro area? Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the 11 best neighborhoods in Parker, Colorado to live in, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Landon Bellum. I'm the marketing manager and an associate broker for Mod Estate, which is a real estate brokerage located in Castle Rock, Colorado, and we service the whole greater Denver area. So if you have any real estate needs, buying, selling, whatever that may be, we've got you back, we've got you covered. And as always, please like the video, drop a comment below, what'd you think of these 11 neighborhoods? Hit that little subscribe button, tap that notification bell icon. This will help you stay up to date with all the new videos and content that we're, we're releasing so that you're always up to date with Colorado's market and the best cities and places to live. We also have a ton of content on YouTube, a ton of blog content as well. I'll link those both in, this, in the description so that you can kind of go surfing and find some valuable information relating to Colorado's real estate markets, market trends, market updates. All right, let's jump into our first neighborhood of Parker's top 11 neighborhoods to live in, and that is Stroh Ranch. This is a really interesting one, one that we like a lot. It's one of Parker's relatively newer communities. It's located on the south side of Parker, and it has a median home price of about $560,000. For the most part, you're gonna see single family residences in Stroh Ranch, but there's also a fair range of condos and townhomes there as well that offer more affordable living. What I really like about Stroh Ranch is that it is located right next to its own little shopping community center. So you have a King Supers just right next to you and a lot of other like some restaurants, gas stations, things like that that, uh, that you can do a lot of your shopping at. This is really nice because as we talked about in our pros and cons of living in Parker, Colorado, little video here showing that off, post a link in the, in the description so you can check that video out if you're interested. But Parker Road is a huge con to Parker, Colorado as is the traffic. Having to go, you know, five miles up Parker Road to get to all of the downtown shopping areas and grocery stores can get really tedious, especially during rush hour and especially during really heavy traffic times. Having this whole neighborhood community shopping center right there around Stroh Ranch is a huge pro. Love this neighborhood. What I also like about Stroh Ranch is that it's right next to Crowfoot, which is a road that goes west right up to Castle Rock, Colorado, which is another really popular Denver suburb. And having that close access to it is really nice. Otherwise you'd have to go on, you know, like I-25 to get there. A lot of other Northern Parker neighborhoods aren't quite as conveniently, conveniently located to Castle Rock. So if you spend a lot of time in that city, Stroh Ranch is gonna be a great option for you. Our second neighborhood on this list is Cottonwood. This one might be a little bit surprising to you as it's one of Parker's older communities, but there's definitely a lot of pros that come with living in Cottonwood. The biggest one being that the price is very affordable compared to, to Parker. Parker's median home price is in like the 600 thousands. It's incredibly expensive, but Cottonwood has a median home price somewhere in like the high $400,000 range. That's partially due to some of these homes being a little bit older, but there's, it's still a great community, has great access to I-25, uh, E-470, Northern Parker, Colorado areas. It's a great neighborhood to live in and definitely a great choice, especially, especially if you're looking for a Parker home to live in that's more affordable. Okay, the third neighborhood on our list of Parker's best neighborhoods is probably one of my personal favorites, and that's the Pinery. The Pinery is likely one of Parker's most well-known neighborhoods as well. And that's because it comes with a whole different range of options and homes to choose from. There's like a luxury neighborhood section, Timbers at the Pinery. There's single family residences that are more affordable. Just so you know, the median home price in the Pinery is higher. It's like in the $780,000 range. But there's also like, an, like a more affordable single family residence side of the Pinery as well. Uh, but regardless of what you're looking for, the Pinery is great. It's got a good location, kind of more or less on like the southern central side of Parker and there's just a lot of options. It's, lo it's close to some schools, it's got some great parks, great trails, very open plains kind of feel. Timbers at the Pinery has a pretty forested feel to it. Regardless of what you're looking for, the Pinery is gonna be a great, great thing for you to look at if you're considering of, of moving to Parker because of its wide variety of homes and different things that you can find there. Antelope Heights is the fourth neighborhood on our best neighborhoods in Parker, Colorado to live in. It's known for having a great location near Parker Road, but it's also known for having kind of a quiet, open space rural atmosphere to it, which you don't get in a lot of Parker neighborhoods. Antelope Heights has a median home price of around $550,000, which is pretty affordable considering Parker's median home price on average is like in the 600,000s. So this is a more affordable place to live, great location, more on like the east side of Parker, Definitely something that you, sh you should consider and look at if you're looking to find a single family residence in Parker. Pine Bluffs comes in at our fifth neighborhood on Parker's 
top 11 neighborhoods. This neighborhood is kind of a newer community. Its median home price is in the $700,000 range, and that's because you can find like custom and semi-custom homes, single family residences. So really, the price kind of depends on how you want to customize and what features you want to add to your home. That's definitely a pro. A lot of these communities we're talking about are kind of older, they're already pre-built, but if you're looking for a new build, Pine, Pine Bluffs is something that you can look into and see if you can find a place. Stonegate comes in at our sixth best neighborhood in Parker, Colorado to live in. This is a little bit of a higher end single family residence community to live in. There are lots of amenities that come with living in Stonegate. The location is great. It's just on the like south side of E470. So getting to the Denver International Airport is a breeze. Getting to Denver, Colorado is also easier. Centennial, Aurora are very close to the Stonegate area of Parker. That's something to keep in mind. Parker is a very long city. It goes from north to south and it's long. So if you live in South Parker, like kind of like the Pinery area, it's gonna take you a lo much longer time to get to the Northern Parker or cities that are north of Parker, like Denver and, and Centennial and the ones that we mentioned. So if you're looking to work in those areas, Stonegate is a great option for you. Like I said, this is kind of higher end single family residences than some that we've talked about thus far. And your median home price in Stonegate is gonna be around $680,000 or so. Bradbury Ranch comes in at our seventh neighborhood on this list of Parker's top 11. What I really like about Bradbury Ranch is that it's kind of in the central Parker location. So if you love the fact that one of Parker's pros is all of the events and gatherings and big awesome things that they do around Main Street and in the downtown Parker area, Bradbury Ranch is gonna be a great option for you. You'll be really close to that stuff. The median home price is pretty affordable compared to a lot of Parker homes. It's around the $550,000 range. So it's definitely something that uh, is a lot easier to get into. It's also a newer community compared to a lot of these Parker neighborhoods that were built in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Bradbury Ranch is definitely a neighborhood you, sh you should consider if you're looking to be kind of in that centralized Parker area, which is nice because if you have to go north or south, you're better off. You know, you're not so far south that going north is tough, especially with traffic. Our eighth neighborhood on this list of Parker's top 11 is Canterbury Crossing. This neighborhood is probably most well known for being right in the midst of a golf course. So if you're a golfer, if you want to be living on a golf course, you like that greenery in your community, then Canterbury Crossing might just be the right option for you. The median home price in Canterbury Crossing is around $650,000. So keep that in mind, you're gonna find homes more or less in that price point. And you know, living on a golf course, that's not too bad. That might be something that you'd really enjoy. So keep this in one in mind, especially if you like that. Newland Meadows comes in at number nine and is another great single family residence neighborhood to choose from. I believe you can also find some condos and townhomes in that area, but for the most part, expect single family residences again in that $650,000 price point. That's the median home price in Newland Meadows area. Development there started in around 2005, so the homes aren't that old, and I believe you can still kind of get some new builds. It's still kind of developing a little bit there. So consider this one. It's another great place to choose in Parker, Colorado. Okay, this brings us at number 10, one of the top neighborhoods in Parker, Colorado. This is another one of my favorites. We're gonna talk about Pradera. Pradera's median home price is $1.2 million. It's another luxury neighborhood in Parker, and man, is this place beautiful. What I love about Pradera is that there are nice custom and semi-custom homes that are spread on kind of this, it's like a hilly area. So some will be high up on hills, some will kind of go down in little valleys, uh, but it is a great location, has great views of the Parker area, looking out kind of to the east, but it is, it is gorgeous, amazing. If you're looking for luxury living in the Parker area, I would say either Pradera or somewhere like Timbers at the Pinery. The only issue is that, uh, you know, Pradera and a lot of these Parker neighborhoods, they don't have great views of the mountains. So like luxury living in Castle Pines, you get great views of the Front Range, the mountains, but you don't get that as much in the Pradera area. But that's not to say you don't get great views. It is a great neighborhood to choose from and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for luxury living south of Denver. Okay, let's wrap up this list of Parker's 11 best neighborhoods to choose from. And we're just gonna talk about the downtown Parker area. Downtown Parker has some nice apartments, some nice condos, townhomes, and as we talked about, there are some neighborhoods and single family residences around that downtown Parker area. Downtown Parker is fantastic. There are so many events, community gatherings, things that go on there. You're gonna be right next to the Pace Center, some amazing parks, the Parker Library, uh, art galleries, things like that are all around the downtown Parker area. Restaurants galore, shops, boutiques, everything that you could want. If you wanna live with that kind of lifestyle and that type of environment, I would send you somewhere in the downtown Parker area. 
It's just kind of an old towny kind of feel, but with a new modern vibe and twist to it. For a single family residence in the downtown Parker, kind of the main street, uh, central Parker area, I would expect somewhere in the $650,000 range, but you can also get some condos, townhomes that are probably gonna be priced somewhere in the 400,000s, maybe fives, maybe threes if you're lucky and you get a good deal. But this wraps up our list of Parker's top 11 neighborhoods to choose from. I'm so glad that you made it to this part of the video. Not everybody does, so it means a lot for you to stay and it helps a lot for the channel and for our rankings on YouTube. So thanks for being here. Like, comment below what you thought about this list of Parker's top 11 neighborhoods. What ones did we miss? There's so many great places to live here. I'm sure we missed out on some. So comment below, what are your favorites? And subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Let us know what you think. Again, I'm Landon Bellum, excited to be with you. Got lots more content coming, so we'll see you on the next one.